history is full of unexplained and unexplained disappearances. One of these losses is the Malaysia Airlines plane. While it is not known why the plane disappeared, tons of conspiracy theories have been produced. So what is the secret of the missing Malaysian plane? What are the conspiracy theories about the plane? What is the truth about the plane's disappearance? One of the most mysterious events in aviation history is the disappearance of the Malaysian plane. So what happened to this plane belonging to Malaysia Airlines? The Malaysian plane took off from Kuala Lumpur for Beijing on March 8, 2014. There were two pilots, 10 flight attendants and 227 passengers on board the Boeing 777 type plane. As the plane continued north over the South China Sea, leaving Malaysian airspace and entering Vietnam, the last words of pilot Zahari Ahmed Shah were heard over the radio. Good night Malaysia 370. Normally, when the plane entered Vietnamese airspace, it was supposed to notify Vietnamese air traffic control. But there was no call or notification. The Malaysian plane was never heard from again. Before it disappeared, there were no calls from the plane that there was a problem or danger. The system showed no signs of trouble. The Malaysian plane disappeared on a cloudless night, in good flying conditions, in an area with a high density of civil and military radar stations and satellite controls. For a week after the Malaysian plane disappeared, authorities searched for a trace in the South China Sea, using sea and air operations. Then, on March 15, Malaysia's then Prime Minister Najib Razak made a surprising announcement, saying that an aircraft, believed to be a Malaysian plane, was found to have suddenly changed direction after entering Vietnamese airspace. He also suggested that this could have been a deliberate act by someone on board. The Malaysian plane, which took off from Kuala Lumpur for Beijing, changed direction to the southwest after a while and then turned into the Indian Ocean. Meanwhile, Malaysian military radar had detected a plane trying to ascend after descending. In Mars at then received sporadic signals from the aircraft. Based on these signals, scientists have calculated that the Malaysian plane may have flown south, possibly because it ran out of fuel. A year after the incident, when the remains of a Malaysian airliner were found off the east coast of Africa, it was speculated that the plane may have crashed near the west coast of Australia and its parts may have reached the African coast with the help of currents. The most expensive search operation in aviation history was launched in the estimated area. Despite spending nearly $150 million over the course of three years, more than 100 ships from 24 countries and many airplanes, nothing was found except a few shipwrecks from the 19th century. In 2018, experts from Malaysia, Australia, the United States, China, China, the United Kingdom, Indonesia, Singapore, France, the United Kingdom, Malaysia, Australia, the United States, the United States, China, the United Kingdom, Indonesia, Singapore and France wrote a report that closed the case without a clear conclusion and disappointing the families of the victims. Following the disappearance of the Malaysian airliner, various conspiracy theories have been floated. Some of them were quite extreme. The plane was allegedly lost in a black hole or abducted by aliens. Another theory, which seemed more plausible, suggested that it had been hijacked for use in another 9-11 style attack. A fire or accident that caused a lack of oxygen on the plane was also cited as one of the possibilities. Another theory when the Malaysian plane disappeared was that the pilot was suicidal and deliberately crashed the plane into the sea. It was suggested that pilot Zahari Ahmad Shah's marriage was going through a difficult period and that he had flight plans for the southern Indian Ocean prepared with a simulator at home. But investigators concluded that this was not evidence that Zahari, who had an exemplary 16-year record, had deliberately crashed the plane, and there was no evidence of mental health problems. Zahari's friends and relatives say in an interview that the pilot was the target of a smear campaign and that he would not have had the slightest lethal intent. Another claim is that evidence may have been ignored or disregarded. 
As evidence of this, it is said that satellite imagery of the South China Sea with the resolution to detect floating debris was mysteriously unavailable afterwards. Moreover, it draws attention to the fact that the recording of the conversations between the pilot and the tower in the first 42 minutes of the flight was never published in its raw form and that the records of the U.S. 7th Fleet in Japan were not shared with the public for a month, contrary to routine practice. But if this is true, hundreds of people in many different countries and organizations are complicit. With this in mind, it is possible to say that if there was a secret being kept, it would have been revealed long ago. He never loses confidence that sooner or later someone will come forward and complete the missing pieces of the puzzle. No one knows yet what happened to the Malaysian plane.